apartment makeover, decorating my apartment coming up next. Hey friends, it's Elizabeth with Abundant Apartment Lifestyles and I am so excited today to do an apartment makeover decorating my apartment. I'm so excited to dive into some interior design as I'm getting rid of some stuff and adding some stuff to my apartment. If you find this video helpful, smash that like button and click subscribe to see our other Organize With Me and interior design videos on our playlist. Let's dive into some of the things I'm getting rid of and some of the things I'm keeping. The first thing from my apartment makeover that I'm adding to my kitchen, my bedroom, and my living room, yes, three places, Rose Forever New York. Thank you, Rose Forever New York, for sponsoring today's video, and you can get a discount code in the description link below. Their incredible roses are phenomenal. They last up to one year and come square or round boxes. You can order beautiful different colors, such as this fuchsia color that I do have here, or you can get them in red, but they also have gold and black and all these other wild, fun colors in their roses that last up to one year. But my friends, look how lifelike that is right it just adds a pop of color and the reason why i'm I, I was sent one and the reason why i'm ordering more is because i need something bright and cheery in my apartment i have found through this apartment makeover i need bright colors it makes me happier it takes some of the depression out of um having a blank apartment and needing some interior design and home decor i love poc pop of color and i will link down below order yourself one for your bedroom one for your kitchen, one for your dining room, one for your, li I mean, order one for your mama, for your best friend, order these. If, if gentlemen are watching them, order for your partner. They will thank you. And it comes with a beautiful lid that is down here. Um, it's a beautiful velvet box that will be a keepsake afterwards that you can use for repurposing, for decluttering later after it, but they do last for one year. These things are beautiful. These roses are beautiful. Um, and I highly, highly recommend, I, like I said, I'm ordering a bunch. I, I was sent one. I'm ordering a bunch for more spaces in my apartment. Um, and I'm really excited to do that because they're beautiful. The next thing in my apartment makeover and decorating my apartment is bump and bump containerizing. And the reason why I'm getting containers, the first thing, let me show you that I ordered <laughs> was this big guy right here for decorating my apartment. He's actually going to go, um, in my bedroom. He's going to be in an inconspicuous place in my um, closet, or I haven't quite decided. My bedroom or in my closet of my apartment is for organization. I wanted to, doing my apartment makeover, I wanted functional meeting decor. And I realized that I have stuff that needs to be organized. And we're going to talk about that in a little bit of things that we're getting rid of and things that we're keeping. And so the things that I'm keeping, I want them to have a home. So this is going to be holding my accessories for my deck because they were they were cluttering my house like my earrings and my necklaces and scarves and things like that so these each of these little bins having an organized space um will help me with my home decor because it's it, nothing looks worse for home decor is messiness or having too much stuff or junky stuff and so keeping that Containerized will help with organization, will help with decorating, and um, will help me really focus in on the design and aesthetic of things that I love about decorating my apartment, like pops of color um, that Rose Forever New York supplies. So the second thing I did with my apartment makeover is I got that container and several other little plastic bins too that I'm using to put things in homes. I find that my home decor is less cluttery when I declutter and I organize um, that my, my interior design naturally comes out and looks way, it looks so beautiful because I can focus in on the beautiful parts of it as opposed to clutter and junk. The third thing in my apartment makeover and home decorating my apartment is a theme. Y'all are gonna think I'm nuts, but follow me down this path. I got these guys, how cute are they? They're little llamas. I wanted to have a llama theme in my um, living room of my apartment. And so I, I'm starting with these guys. And like I said, I'm getting rid of a bunch of stuff, which we're going to talk about, but I just thought they were so cute and they're going to go uh, throughout my apartment, different little llama guys. But they make me smile. And that's tip number three is finding things that make you happy, that make you smile. I mean, how can you not look at his ears? How can you not laugh with that? <laughs> For decorating your apartment, finding cute things. I have, of course, classy, beautiful things like my Rose Forever New York uh, items of the, the beautiful roses. But having fun things that make me smile, I think are cute. And I think that it, it makes personality when I'm um, doing interior design of, 
it has personality and it makes me smile and it brings a smile to my face. And I think in these times, these day and age, we need to have big smiles on our face even more so than we ever did before. So I got my llama theme going on, pick a theme and run with it. Number four on my apartment makeover and decorating my apartment is I got rid of books and a lot of books. I love paper books. I love the tactileness. I love touching books, but I found I have way too many books for my apartment. And again, going back to that decluttering and organizing, it was too much, too much. So I took all the books that I donated and got rid of, and I ended up putting them on my Kindle. I, it was so freeing. It actually is awesome <laughs> to have that much clutter with the books and being able to read on my Kindle, um, which I can take, you know, to the pool. I can take it a, a bunch of different places. And it's really, really simple to be able to read easily um, because it's all on one device. And I can also use it on my cell phone, the books. So my tip number four for you for your apartment makeover and decorating your apartment is getting rid of books and putting the paper books onto a Kindle or some sort of book reading device that you can simply just read it on there. If you don't have the best eyesight, you can zoom in. You can have um, change it from black font to white font to black backgrounds or white backgrounds, lighted backgrounds. Like there's so many different ways now with Kindles and book reading uh, devices that they've thought of pretty much everything with it. So I would encourage you to get rid of your books and put them on your Kindle or use some sort of a device to read them. It will eliminate clutter within your apartment and your apartment makeover will open up more space for you by doing this. Tip number five for my apartment makeover and what I did was getting rid of clutter. I've talked about things that I've gotten rid of and things that I'm keeping. I massively had to declutter of getting rid of old pots and pans. Literally, we've gone down to using three pots. That's it. Got rid of the rest of them. They're just, I didn't want to have the cluttered space. Went through my closet, got rid of and decluttered a bunch of stuff. And then that way, getting rid of those items opened up more room in my apartment and it was like a makeover just in that not even purchasing anything else but just getting rid of that unnecessary extra clutter was phenomenal <laughs> it's probably my best tip is get rid of things tip number six for my apartment makeover and decorating my apartment was labeling things i found and i've talked about this on other videos check out our interior design playlist down below in our home decor playlist i've talked about things having homes if you're decluttering if you're organizing your apartment things need to go places they need to go to homes and so having them labeled eliminates oh where does that belong where does that go where where do my body washes go oh they go here in this particular thing underneath my sink or wherever it has a labeled container on it for me that's been amazing it has been dare i say life-changing i'm having places for things to go if i go shopping and i i get certain products they can naturally go into their home that's really well labeled so labeling my containers is my tip for you um, to have an apartment makeover is having places for things to go it's adulting 101 that i feel like i missed i feel like i never got taught that and so now I'm passing it on to you. Make sure that you label your containers and have places for your products to go in a home. And tip number seven in decorating my apartment and apartment makeover is hand towels in my bathroom. I up leveled my hand towels recently and it has been awesome. I have holiday hand towels, hand towels throughout the year that I rotate out. Not too many, but um, I had gross, nasty hand towels that I had when I was in college and it was time to up level it was worth the extra 10 bucks to get some new hand towels for my bathroom space and then i also got new dish towels for my kitchen that were so fun going back to the theme of my llamas this brings me joy and makes me happy and so having on your hand towels things that will bring you joy or colors or patterns or whatever getting some hand towels in your bathroom adulting 101 that will make you happy that will look beautiful that will look fresh um, and, and really give that apartment makeover or decorating your apartment that you desire. The biggest thing that I have found is my Rose Forever roses, which I will link down below. Um, like I said, I'm getting one from my bathroom, my kitchen, my bedroom, my living room. They are so beautiful. They last for a year. Hello. They come with a beautiful velvet top, although I have left my top off because I love looking at them. They're so gorgeous. Look at that. I mean, that just, it makes my heart happy and I love the color. I love the vibrant color and I know it's not winter time yet, but when we get into the winter seasons, having these colorful flowers will really, truly change my mood. 
and help up level the colors in my apartment, which makes me super happy. So order one, order two, order three, I will put in the description link below how you can order your Rose Forever New York roses and get your own gift box. You can get a couple of them and get them for your mama for her birthday or, or your best friend or your, your godmom or your, your, your brother or your sister or whatever order them. You're, they will they will be super, super, super impressed. And I do have a discount code also that I will link down in the description link too. If you found this video helpful, dance your fingers over, click like, and click subscribe to see other videos just like this one with interior design in your apartment and let's make it a powerful day. Bye friends.